Newton was wrong. Scientists dismiss Newton's theory of gravity and warn Einstein is next. Tom Fish of Express UK writes, Isaac Newton is rightly regarded as the greatest scientist of all time, but groundbreaking black hole research has now disproved Newton's theory of gravity. Even Albert Einstein's theories are starting to fray around the edges. This is what scientists are warning of. More than 100 years after Albert Einstein published his iconic theory of general relativity, it's beginning to show signs of aging now because the most comprehensive test of general relativity near the monstrous black hole at the center of our galaxy, University of, uh, University of California professor Andrea Guess announced that Einstein's theory of general relativity, relativity holds up for now. Professor Guess says Einstein is right, at least for now, and we can absolutely rule out Newton's law of gravity. Our observations are consistent with Einstein's theory of general relativity, but his theory is definitely showing vulnerability. It cannot fully explain gravity inside a black hole. And at some point, we will need to move beyond Einstein's theory to a more comprehensive theory of gravity that explains what a black hole exactly is. German-born theoretical physicist Einstein is, along with, uh, alongside Max Planck, considered one of the two pillars of modern physics. His 1915 theory of general relativity holds that what we perceive as a force of gravity rises from the curvature of space and time. The second, the scientists propose celestial objects such as the Sun and the Earth change this geometry. Einstein's theory is the best description of how gravity works Professor Getz says, who has made direct measurements of the phenomena near the supermassive black hole, research dubbed extreme astrophysics. The laws of physics, including gravity, should be valid everywhere in the universe, says Getz, who added that her research team is one of only two groups in the world to watch a star known as SO2 make a complete orbit in three dimensions around a supermassive black hole at the Milky Way center. A full orbit takes 16 years, and the black hole's mass is about 4 million times that of the Sun. The researchers say their work is the most detailed study ever conducted into the supermassive black hole and Einstein's theory of general relativity. The data in the research were spectra. Professor Getz's team analyzed this April, May, and September as her favorite star, quote-unquote, made its closest approach to the enormous black hole. Spectra, which Getz describes as the rainbow of light from stars, shows the intensity of light and offer important information about the star from which the light travels. Spectra also shows the composition of the star. These data were combined with measurements Getz and her team made for over the past 24 years. Spectra, collected at Hawaii's Keck Observatory using a spectrograph built at UCLA by UCLA professor James Larkin, provided the three dimension rever uh, revealed the star's motion at the level of precision not previously attained. Professor Larkin's instruments take light from the star and disperse it similar to the way raindrops disperse light from the sun to create a rainbow. Professor Getz added, what's so special about SO2 is we have its complete orbit in three dimensions. And that's what gives us the entry ticket into tests of general relativity. We asked how gravity behaves near a supermassive black hole and whether Einstein's theory is telling us the full story. Seeing stars go through their complete orbit provides the first opportunity to test fundamental physics using the motion of these stars. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.